Hi all, it's David here again from DP Computing. This time we've got a desktop unit and this one is a Lenovo ThinkCenter M93P or 93P, M93P. Um, I'm just going to do a brief teardown of it to show you how to get inside, change the memory, hard drive, optical drive and so forth. Now before we start um, please take anti-static precautions and also if you are in any doubt or anything's different to what you see here is what you see in front of you there please see a professional now make sure oh, we've got the front of the machine this side uh, this is the top and we've got the back or the rear here so just first make sure that the, there's no power connected which is just here on the side uh, just pull out any power cables now we've got two thumb screws here, so just remove those thumb screws. Um, if they're a bit tight, you may need a, a screwdriver. Um, this one, if you can see here, it's one of those dual, so it's either a Phillips head or a flathead screwdriver you can use to remove it. So once those two screws are removed, uh, there's a little button here, so just push that button in and you should be able to pull sort of to the side and then up and out the actual case itself. So here's the insides of it. Um, I'll just see, it's a bit dark, so I'll just see if we can get some light in there. That's a bit better there. So we can see we've got a hard drive here, we've got the CPU fan, the power supply here, and the optical drive. Now power supplies here, what you need to do to remove it is remove the actual cable. I'll have to actually pull this up so I won't say that in a second. But here we've got the optical drive and the hard drive. Um, if this all slides up, what we need to do, there's a little, everything's tagged blue or sort of purpley colour. Just push that in and if you get in right, And as luck would have it, not, uh, there we go, just push it in and this will slide up and then click into place. So again, here's the power supply. To remove that, we've got to disconnect the actual main power to the motherboard and then the power to the, the optical drive and the hard drive, which you probably can't see in the, in the screen, but I'll turn it around in a second. Once you've unplugged those um, power cables, the three screws on the back here, remove those screws. And then underneath here, we've got a little clip. So just push that clip down and the power supply will slide out. Now, as I said, I'll see if we can turn it around a bit more. Yep, so we've got the optical drive here and the hard drive, which is under here. To remove the optical drive, just pull out the two cables. So we've got the power and the SATA cable. The SATA cable has a little uh, clip, just push that down and pull it out. Now if you have a look on the side over here, this side here, you'll see another little purple type um, area I suppose, lack of a better term. Just push that in and we can then pull out the optical drive. So it's just the standard optical drive. This one's just the DVD rewriter. And if we can get the uh, focus won't really go too well. But this one's just a model GHCON. So it's a super multi DVD writer. Now with the hard drive itself, it's very similar. Just remove the two cables. You've got the power and the SATA cable. Once they're removed, you'll see, a per and again, there's another little purple thing there and one on the other side underneath. If you just pull, pull them inward, push them inwards and we've got another little purple thing here which we can then pull out. So you can see the hard drive itself is held in by that purple sort of, um, I suppose, holder. And to get that out, again, just pull that out. We don't need any screws. And there's the actual hard drive itself. So you just repeat or reverse what we did just to put it back in. Um, just to save a bit of time, um, 
I won't push it all back in yet but we've got memory down here that's held in by two little um, I suppose beige clips just pull them outwards and the memory will pop up and to put it back in just reverse what we've done there until it clicks into place now there's four you can see yep there's four little slots there for memory and in this one there's only one um, being used so there you have it oh just to push it to put everything once you put everything back in there's another clip on this side again just down here so again it's colored sort of purple what you need to do is push that in and then you can push that sort of thing down until it clicks into place so there you have it there's a quick or a very brief teardown of a Lenovo Think Center M93P desktop unit. Thank you for watching and please check out our YouTube channel for other um, motherboard teardowns or motherboard should say uh, desktop teardowns or laptop teardowns. Thanks again. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.